Union Home Secretary Anil Goswami, who chaired the 18th review meeting of state's UT's nodal officers on anti-human trafficking, said that the law enforcing agencies needed to be more effective as they were not yet properly equipped to address the problem of human trafficking. At the event, Goswami launched a booklet highlighting the comprehensive measures taken by the Ministry of Home Affairs for tackling human trafficking in the country. I am glad to be present at the 18th review meeting of state's UT's nodal officers on anti-human trafficking. I am happy that on this occasion we have released a booklet on the comprehensive measures taken by the Ministry of Home Affairs to tackle the crime of human trafficking and also release the calendar for 2015 on the theme of the crime of human trafficking. I am very happy to note that we have a review mechanism with the states and union territories which seemingly is working regularly and effectively as a platform for dissemination of new policies, interministerial co coordination and interstate interactions. This is evident from the fact that today we are holding the 18th review meeting. He added that 225 anti-human trafficking units have been made functional in different parts of India and 100 more such units have been proposed. I would like to exhort all concerned to make it more meaningful and effective. When I come across news reports involving the exploitation of our young children and women, I am pained to note that the law enforcement response is still not adequate. In order to tackle the crime aspect of human trafficking, the Ministry of Home Affairs has implemented a comprehensive scheme for enhancing and strengthening law enforcement response to human trafficking by capacity building of all stakeholders and establishment of integrated anti-human trafficking units at the districts in the country. As I understand, so far 225 anti-human trafficking units have been made operational in different districts of the country and about 100 more AHTUs are proposed to be established in the country during the current financial year. He also congratulated that Kerala Police and the Kerala Anti-Human Trafficking Nodal Officer for recently busting a child trafficking racket involving 600 kids from various states of India. Large-scale capacity building programs for training of trainers for police, prosecutors and judiciary have been planned, organized and funded by this ministry. Since the establishment in the year 2011 till date, as per the data received from 21 states and UTs, a total number of 4028, I repeat, 4028 rescue operations have been conducted throughout the country by the AHTUs, in which 13,742 victims have been rescued and 7,087 traffickers have been arrested. Recently, around 600 children trafficked from states like Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Odisha have been rescued by the Kerala police. I want to congratulate the Kerala Anti-Human -traf Trafficking Nodal Officer for this accomplishment. Well done. And want her to take this crusade as a mission so that Kerala is not perceived as a safe haven for tra traffickers or a place for the exploitation of the young vulnerable children. Powered by NNIS.